Decent dressing can be explained as the proper way of dressing or generally accepted way of dressing without exposing vital parts of the human body. Indecent dressing, on the other hand, is the improper and provocative way of dressing relative to the society or culture in which it is being perpetuated. In the church and in public places, some women do expose their bodies, a development that gives cause for concern. Men are not exempted from indecent attires as the wear saggy trousers, ripped jeans, popularly known as rugged jeans, and wear earrings. While this is totally prohibited in some churches, it is acceptable in others. Reacting to this trend, some clergymen condemned the act. They said the scriptures, especially in Deuteronomy, explained the appropriate ways Christians should present themselves before God. Men should not put that we belong to women, neither women that we belong to men. They are forbidden by God himself. Church leaders, watch very well. All those members that are dressing indecently, you have the right to caution them. People come to the house of God, not even just the house of God. Publicly, you expose your body, cover your nakedness. So whatever you've got to do, apply modesty. Some clergymen harped on the need for decency in the house of God. Opening yourself and everything out is ungodly. Let mothers start dressing well before their children, buying good dresses for them. They should try to dress them decently right from youthful age. To wear trousers is not a problem, but the dress should, be, it should look more Dress well, wear decent clothes. The women, let at least your clothes will pass your nail to don't tie your hair. It doesn't matter. You can leave your head like that, but that painting of head, all those eyelashes, all those they are putting on, those are they are bad. Favor Osaro, ITV News.